Greetings, my name is Dr. Peter Harrop of the Analysts ID TechX. I'm going to talk to you today about a new report, Supercapacitor Materials and Formats 2020 to 2040, uh, which is describing how in many ways supercapacitors will become better than batteries and replace them in certain applications. This is the report. Now to put it in very simple terms in a short time, supercapacitors are taught as something that is really a super type of capacitor and technically of course they are, uh, but in the marketplace they don't mainly replace capacitors, they replace batteries. So the stop start micro hybrid car internal combustion and some mild hybrid cars and some full hybrid cars have supercapacitors either totally replacing the battery because they last longer than the vehicle and uh, so they're fit and forget and they do a more efficient better job uh, they're in hybrid buses that don't plug in they're in supercapacitor plus buses where enormous numbers of them totally replace the batteries and uh, they have the world record for charging of 10 seconds for a large bus uh, they're backup for wind turbines to feather the blades if a storm is coming in because you can't trust the battery as much and so there is a summary of where we're at with supercapacitors and the dream is at the moment that supercapacitor business will jump jump 10 times in value if affordable supercapacitors can store 10 times the electricity. We call that 60 watt hours per kilogram or more. You do that with new electrodes matched to new electrolytes. And if the researchers are to be believed, a U-turn in terms of what technically you're trying to achieve anyway. So this is complicated, but let's put it simply. In the middle is your supercapacitor, a symmetrical electrochemical double layer capacitor, which has uh, two double layers, at e one at each electrode that provides the equivalent of your dielectric in other capacitors and gives you a thousand times the capacitance. Now you can make it even nearer to being a battery because at the moment they store a tiny percentage of uh, batteries electricity uh, you can do it either by going to the right to the red and that means you have one electrode that is battery like or both electrodes can be somewhat battery like and that hasn't had a lot of commercial success there's a tendency for it to be the worst of both worlds and so now you turn the researchers are mainly going to the left to look at something that's in there that they tried to minimize before uh, and that's called pseudo capacitance and by maximizing pseudo capacitance you can get that energy density but the trick is to do it at an affordable price and with a battery that's still a, a, a supercapacitor that still retains its benefits or at least most of them like very high power density and life some throw it all in but um, it's not obvious that's the best way to go now supercapacitor and battery people love to plot power density the speed with which you shoot the electricity in and out against energy density how much you can get in a certain volume or weight and i want to zoom in on part of that if we look at the right hand part uh, there is the opportunity with batteries going better in terms of energy density and power density, but not matching the power density of supercapacitors. But there is above that, see the big red arrow, there is the opportunity to go to um, either battery supercapacitor hybrids or pseudo capacitors, meaning ones with boosted pseudo capacitive effect we say pseudo meaning fake because it's not entirely electrostatic in nature um, and that has opportunities a very dramatic one is that the researchers uh, target that urban buses could charge in 20 seconds so you virtually don't need a depot they just come up to a post and charge in 20 seconds 
and they never need their battery replaced because it's not a battery, it's a supercapacitor. Uh, we don't know if that's going to be pulled off, but it requires at least 60 watt hours per kilogram with all the other properties. So that's the sort of thing shooting for and they do it um, by moving off now big uter no more of the uh, pyrolysis burning with little or no oxygen of all sorts of i prefer coconuts no i prefer pine needles no they prefer fish scales we're now in the world of mainly looking at graphene carbon nanotubes and metal organic frameworks so it's much more science rather than witch doctor based and you do it two ways with the electrode. You want lots of area. So you do it either with different thicknesses of pore in like a, a sort of carbon coke, uh, or you, it's exohedral where you have the um, advanced allotropes that I just mentioned. And they have to be matched to electrolytes. So new electrolytes are coming in, ionic ones that have no solute solvent combination and ones that are aqueous are beautiful advances there because you tend to go to non-flammable and also uh, sometimes lower cost. Uh, so acetonitrile, which is in the ones in the big orders still, and uh, but in a declining number of the products offered by supercapacitor people uh, is going to be in decline as we come to a green uh, supercapacitor approach. So supercapacitors advance that way, but they also advance in new formats. This is Lamborghini, which working with Massachusetts Institute of Technology claims they can do this um, Lamborghini Terzo Millennio uh, body of the car. Try that with a battery because the battery swells and shrinks. It would shake itself to pieces, but you can with a supercapacitor. They've done it with metal organic frameworks, actually. And they say it is in addition self-healing. So you're changing the battleground and there you're doing what batteries cannot do, at least within the foreseeable future. And formats do include that prosthetic hand uh, developed in the UK uh, and many other things like supercapacitors that are stretchable film and so on. So it is new materials and new formats and very much a prospect not of replacing all batteries but of replacing maybe potentially 10% of them if they get that bus business in cities. And some of them claim that the supercapacitors can be thrown away in general trash. So that's another advantage. You don't have all this recycling and reuse um, agony. Um, then that will be a huge win. Uh, but no, we're not saying they will replace most batteries. So the race is on, totally different approach. I hope you found that useful. This is the report which goes much more obviously into all of the technologies and the new, other new formats that are possible as well, uh, biodegradable, even edible, uh, and so on. This is us. I hope you found it useful. Thank you for listening.